Hi, it's Dee, the Frustrated Gardener. And actually, guys, this is take four. <laughs> oh, it's a hot day, and I think we're all getting a little squirrely. Anyway, um, happy Saturday, July 21st. Um, like I said, it's Dee. Um, and fig season is going on here in South Central Texas, and so I'm showing you a shot of my fig preserves. Um, we are in a heat wave. We are under a heat advisory warning. We have been so for the last three days, and it looks like we will be for the next four days to come. Our heat is anywhere uh, supposed to be from 104 to 106, so we are hot, and I am not in the garden. My husband, uh, being the crazy man that he is, let me give you a shot of him. He's getting a drink of water. There's the crazy man. He was, he's been out to trimming trees today because uh, we have live oak trees and uh, here you have to trim them when they, it is extremely hot or it's extremely cold because we get what they call oak wilt. So, and it kills the trees and it kills all your oak trees. So they are really basically the only trees we have. So he takes very uh, careful precautions with them so that he keeps them safe. Anyway, that being said, he has been outside working in this 100 plus degree day and I have been inside in the air conditioning working. I have canned figs today. I have made fig preserves and I have regular uh, fig preserves here. It's just like a, a fig, a regular fig. And then um, I have also cans of figs that I call my Christmas or holiday figs they have more these actually have season there's eight of them here that have seasoning in them and then the rest are just regular fig preserves i have 22 pie half a half pint or jelly jar what we call them jelly jars of figs so uh everyone here in south central texas who have fig trees are getting their figs on so i don't really want any more than this because that's a lot of fig preserves for us because we just, you know, it'll take us a while to eat those. But I also want to mention here in the back, I have two crocs. Those were my great grandmothers, my great grandmother Jordan's. And I also here, right here, I, and I use it, there's my Redmond's real salt in there. Um, this is my grandmother's um, salt cellar. And it's kind of like crystal. But anyway, and I have it sitting right here by my stove and I use it. So um, anyway, just wanted to mention that. I love I love having family. They're not heirlooms, but to me they are. Uh, I was raised in a very simple family in Appalachia, West Virginia. and uh, But to have, have memories of people I didn't even meet. My great-grandmother Jordan died well before I was born. But anyway, just a side note on those uh, Crocs in the back, but I also have, let me uncover them here, and you can see my pressure cooker. Those were water bath canned, and my water bath canner is already put up, but I also have um, some carrots and green beans in pint jars that I canned, and it looks like most of them have sealed. So um, they're still very hot. They just came out of the canner. As you can see, the canner is still sitting here, um, cooling itself before I put it up. So, um, but that has been our Saturday. And um, it's kind of, it's been a productive day. He's been out, like I said, trimming trees and I've been in the house canning. So, um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> send up a prayer for us down here in this heat wave. It's crazy. I, uh, I I can't even I can't even explain to y'all what 106 uh, temperature feels like. It's it's just crazy. Uh, but on a positive note, in the garden up in the orchard, it looks great. We uh, both of us. I started it this morning about 6:30, and he finished it for me because we put the water hose and let it drip slowly on each tree and the grapevines and everything. So it takes us a while because we do 15 minutes per tree or plant. And but everything up there looks wonderful. Uh, the vegetable garden looks great. Um, I did harvest right there some uh, summer squash uh, that we were, we're not gonna have dinner. We're gonna have dinner tonight with friends um, 
at uh, Cheesecake Factory. But anyway, but I will do something with that tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to do some summer, you know, squash uh, relish. I'm not sure yet, but I will do something. So, um, but yeah, the garden's looking pretty good too. But it's so hot. My poor chickens. Oh, I, eh, it's pretty hot. So, anyway, that is the going on around here. So you all have a great Saturday. Pray for us that we get through this heat wave and that it ends soon because it is just, just miserable. Um, oh shoot, he just turned on the blower. Sorry, I was gonna take y'all outside and, and let you see a few things. But anyway, you guys have a blessed day and I will visit with you all soon. Okay, bye for now.